Hey, what's up, guys? It's Marco, and welcome back to my channel. Hey, hey. You guys already seen the title, and I decided to make this video because I feel like every teenager struggles with this, and since usually most of my videos are seen by teenagers, I just wanted to write some struggles that we have to go through during our teenage lives. And if you compare to any of these, or you know someone, go ahead and comment down below of what your struggles are. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Alright, so before I start off, if you guys don't know me, if you guys never seen of my existence, or if you guys just stumbled upon this video, what's up? I'm Marco. What is up? Thank you for stumbling upon my video, or watching my video or got a notification of my video or you're just bored and just want to watch someone stupid hi don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the end of this video if you want to keep watching more of me because i am what they say a funny dumb person yeah i feel like every teenager struggles with this one early early in the morning you guys already know what i'm about to say waking up for school this was a struggle for me really, really, like, a lot. I mean a lot. This was a struggle for me because I'm a night person. I'm a night owl. I like to be out at night past midnight, past even 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. And when it's time to wake up for school, I won't even get up because I'll be too tired. Or if I would get off work and go home at 11 o'clock, or 11.30, you know, 30 minutes to walk home. And I would go to sleep, but I won't wake up because I'll be still really tired from work from last night. For our second teenage struggle would be the split personality. So this goes out for some people. I don't think all teenagers go through this struggle, but I definitely am one to be super nice to someone at some point and then five minutes later um, you're in bitch mode and you just don't want to deal with anyone's fucking drama. This is me, a split personality, when I'm at school especially. I would be talking to my friends early in the morning and then like later on during the day like after all the teachers have been so annoying, I'll just be in bitch mode. Like I'll go up to them and be like, man like shut the f up you know like so much so for the third one we all, all all struggle with this one during our teenage years and it is talking to our crush if you ever had a crush in middle school it was even worse for you because in middle school we're still talking about cooties and like boobs and you know sex and this is and that you know to me I never had a crush in middle school well yeah I did but it wasn't really weird just because it was just like a crush like to me like it just it was just a crush you know my personality wasn't like this a few years ago i was more like a quiet shy person so when i told people my crush they were all surprised but shocked and like it was just like like a one-time thing like okay let's move on with our lives if you guys ever had any problems opening up or talking to your crush let me know down below in the comment section who your crush was not, not not their name you don't have to give me their name but give me like a little story feedback like what happened like anything embarrassing you know something funny but if it was sad and you know crazy then i'm sorry for you This one is honestly what I deal with every day, every morning I look at them. And yes, I'm talking about my acne. Acne is something we try to run away from. Not all of us can run away. Some of us have to just deal with it and just freaking move on with our lives. And that's what I do. Yeah, my face is like with pimples and acne I mean look at this this I had this and this morning I woke up this morning and this popped up and this is why I decided to make a video because this is a struggle for me there's so many people who struggle with acne and 
for them, you know, to try so many things to get rid of it. It's like, okay, we understand, you know, you want to get rid of it. But I honestly don't really care if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. It's not a big deal for me at the end of the day because at the end of the day, I'm not impressing anybody. And I feel like people who do try so much just to get rid of acne is just trying to impress the world. Like, what's the point? Number five. This has to be mostly during our middle school years. I doubt that we go through this during our high school years, but we fall in love again and again and again. For number six, this is one that everyone wants to have before they're no longer a teenager. and. This is a special one that not that many people go for right away because they want to save it for that someone special. The first kiss. I honestly think that having your first kiss during your teenage years is a good thing because you're young, you know. You're trying to find that one, you know. Some people wait like during high school, during their high school years, like senior year. Like, they'll, they'll wait till they're a senior or junior or whatever year you're in in high school. They'll just wait. I honestly think that having your first kiss during your teenage years is such an amazing thing because you, you're young, you know. You are trying to find that one person, that someone, you know. And having your first kiss is like... Whew, like, damn, what a relief, you know, that you got that out of your chest, you know. That's your ever first kiss. So a tip for you guys is that be careful who you actually pick for your first kiss. Don't just go for it and just kiss some random ass dudes during the library or during passing period or whatever the case is. Find that someone and be happy with them. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so for number seven, this is one question that everyone gets asked at senior year before graduation is what's next what are you gonna do after high school and most teenagers don't know what to say to me personally I'm going to leave uh, maybe a year or two after I finish college here in Illinois move to California and start my dream of becoming an actor but it's actually kind of scary to figure out what you're going to be doing after high school because it's like what am I going to be doing you know where am I gonna go so that's a question that I think you guys should really think about during your high school years especially junior year which is like a year away before you turn a senior so I would recommend to you guys to think what you guys want to do next after high school so for number eight this is one that I'm probably going to be mostly struggling with is a moving on. And what I'm trying to say by this is when you start your life and you start going for it, you know, your life is really going good, you know, you're doing things that you really wanted to do and you're just moving on from your old friends. Like, are you scared to move on from your old friends? Like, are you scared to leave the city that you were born and raised in and you're just gonna leave all that and you're just gonna leave? Are you scared to leave everything behind? So many memories and you're just starting over. Comment down below if you are scared to start over after so many memories, after so many years, that you lived in that state or city and you just say I'm going to leave so you leave are you scared to start over and make new friends at a different place all right you guys that was it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it so much these are just some struggles that's every teenager some I should say not every but some teenagers um, struggle with during their teenage years you know and it sucks it may not suck but at the end of the day 
live life the way you want to live life. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. That's about it. <laughs> if I left any struggles out or if you know any struggles that teenagers face during their teenage years with would be school wise or physically or mentally wise, you know, go comment down below in the comment section and you can also tweet me, DM me, Snapchat me, or message me on Facebook. Yeah, they will all be down below. My social medias will be down below. Until next time, guys. Bye. Toodles. What the hell?